Hello, my friend. This is Chris Galloway. I wanted to uh, talk to you tonight about a verse that's been on my heart here lately. It's uh, John 3.36. It says, He who believes in the Son has life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, and the wrath of God abides upon him. You know, it's a pretty scary thing to think about that, that as believers, we have eternal life. That's a great verse, a great verse of assurance uh, to believers. Um, that we believe that we've inherited eternal life through Christ alone and by faith alone. But the other part of that verse is what really, really bothers me. It says that he does not obey the Son will not see life and the wrath of God abides upon him. You know, that uh, really kind of says that majority of people, even the ones that claim to be Christians, are not going to see uh, eternal life, but actually that God's wrath abides upon them right now. That's a horrible thought if you think about that. The wrath of God, could you imagine having the wrath of God laying upon you if you're not a believer? It uh, The Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. You know, if there's ever any motivation for us to go witness and to tell people about Christ, it might be just that, to let them know that the wrath of God is abiding upon them. Yeah, you know, I like to use the analogy. My wife that recently got married to, uh, she survived a tsunami that hit Colombo, Sri Lanka, about a uh, few years back. And um, the way that she survived the tsunami was that uh, she was staying in a hotel, and she ran up to about the fourth floor of the hotel. When she did that, the tidal wave hit and washed out basically everything that was in the first floor and a good chunk of what was in the second floor, but she survived because she ran up high. And that's the only thing that will save anybody from the wrath of God is to run into the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to think about this verse as believers too, because one thing is that we don't want to see anybody be under the wrath of God. I think we should mourn for the fate of the ungodly and mourn for the fate of the wicked. It should press us to want to tell people about Christ and not be afraid and uh, to tell people about the only way that a person can be saved. But as you walk down the street or you're riding in your car or you're at school or church or the mall or wherever, when you look around, a lot of people that you see are under the wrath of God currently. It's a horrible thing and it really is a wake-up call. I hope and pray that you'll ponder on this verse and weigh it out in your heart and say, you know, I've got to do something to at least warn me, even if they don't listen. I'm just going to go out and warn the people because the wrath of God abides upon the wicked every day. Thanks for listening.